In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a mortar and shell that's powered by butane and can fire our homemade ammo over 90 feet away. Let's start this project off with a trip to the hardware store, and you're going to need a 2 foot section of 3 inch pipe, a 3 inch threaded coupling, a 3 inch slip coupling, and this little threaded end cap I found. Go ahead and take the slip coupling and put it on one end of the pipe, and then take our threaded coupling and threaded end cap and thread them together backwards so it looks just like that. With that done, you can put it on the other end of the pipe. Now if you give both sides a good whack with a hammer, our mortar pipe is done and we can move on to making the shell next. Alright, for the shell we're going to need a 2 inch to 1 and a quarter inch bushing, a 2 inch coupling, a 2 inch long section to 2 inch pipe, a 2 inch male threaded adapter, and a 2 inch threaded end cap. Now when you buy these, make sure all the fittings are marked NFS-PW. This means that the fittings are rated for a pressurized application, and that's important. Now let's grab some PVC primer and glue and start sticking stuff together. The first two pieces to go together are the bushing and the coupling, so let's supply some primer and then glue on top of that. Now press both pieces together firmly and give them about 5 seconds to glue together. Then take something like an old rag and wipe off all the excess glue. Next is our 2 inch piece of pipe, and that goes into our coupling, so let's repeat the process there. Remember to keep the fittings tight, and don't forget to wipe off that excess glue. Now our threaded male adapter has to go on, so let's put some primer and glue on it, then glue it to the rest of the shell. We can wipe away the extra glue, and now there's only one thing left, and that's the end cap, so let's work on that next. Okay, now take a center punch and place it in the middle of our end cap, and let's smack it with a hammer so we can drill it out with a 7 8 drill bit. Place the drill bit in the divot we made with our center punch, and then drill till you get all the way through. With the hole drilled in the end cap, now we're going to need a barbecue igniter, but be careful the kind you get. To test it, take it out of the box and slam it down on a hard surface. You should be able to hear an audible click. If you don't hear the click, it's not the kind we want, then it won't work. Now that we have our barbecue igniter, let's tear open the box and put it to use. Okay, what we're after here is this little black piece, and as you can see, it fits perfectly inside of our end cap. Now you can grab a hot glue gun or epoxy and glue it together. I would recommend using epoxy, because if you use hot glue, it might break like mine did, and you'll end up using epoxy anyway. Okay, now we need to cut about an inch off of our white cord and attach it to our igniter like so. Take our wire cutters and cut the wire so it's level with the top of the igniter. Then take a wire strippers and strip a little bit off the end so you have bare wire exposed. Reattach the wire to the igniter and then adjust the wire so that you get a bright blue spark when you press the button. I hot glued mine in place to make sure it didn't move on me. And with that, we're finished. Okay, now there's only one thing left to do and that's drill a hole so we can have butane. So grab a 0.59 drill bit and drill all the way through a pipe so it comes out the other side. Now take a 0.66 drill bit and only drill in about an eighth of an inch and we'll see why that's important in a second. You can see by drilling in an eighth of an inch, it gives us a wall to press up against to disperse our butane inside the shell, which is perfect. Okay, now let's make some ammo. Alright, for our ammo we're going to need a 1 and a quarter inch to 3 fourths inch bushing and a 3 fourths inch plug. Grab some primer and glue and glue the two together. Now unfortunately this doesn't quite fit in the bushing to our shell, so grab some sandpaper and sand it down so it fits smoothly inside. Okay, now that we have ammo, I think this thing needs a paint job. I think I'm going to go with army green and gloss black, but you can do whatever you want. Okay, that looks great. Now to load it, put the butane nozzle into the hole we made and press down to give it a short burst of gas and wave it up and down about four times to get the air circulated. Now if you did it right, when you press the button at the back, a fireball should come out the front. Pretty cool, right? Okay, now let's actually load some ammo in this thing, so repeat the process, and instead of pushing the button at the back, load your ammo in the front, and then drop it down the mortar. Don't forget to unscrew the back and let it air out between shots before you load your ammo and gas. If you did everything right, you should be rewarded with an impressively loud crack, and your projectile should soar over 90 feet. Now you know how to build a gas powered mortar that will shoot your shells over 90 feet away and press your friends and maybe even make a few enemies if you're not careful. That's it for this video, let me know what you want to see me build next in the comments below because I have an engineer's brain just itching to get to work and I'd be happy to try out any suggestions you guys have. Thanks for watching, Rogue out.